based on what we've been learning the last two, three lessons. And before we do, I want to go over how to write a paragraph. So there are important sections of writing a paragraph, right? Um, and to remember them, I have come up with a little acronym. TC, EC, EC. Can everybody repeat that? TC, EC, EC. Writing can be easy. So TC, EC, EC. Writing can be easy. Ready? T C E T E T C E C E C. Writing can be easy. Can somebody tell me what the T stands for? Karatu? Topic. Topic. This is your topic sentence. In your topic sentence, you want to make sure you capture the reader's attention and you state what your paragraph is going to be about. First C. Characters? Characters? Not exactly. Good try, though. Question words? Crush words? Crush words? No. So we want to avoid crush words, right? Crush words are things we don't want yeah, to include in our paragraphs. These are things we do want to include in our paragraphs. Oh, oh. Right. So the second one is claim. So after you make your topic sentence and after you said what you're going to write about, you want to make a claim, right? This is something that you believe. And then after you state the claim, what comes next, Laura? Evidence. Evidence. You can make a claim, but if you don't back it up with evidence, it can't stand. You can't have a roof and no wall, right? So this is the roof and the wall, holding it up. Second C? Claim. Good. Yeah. Yeah, claim and evidence. Oh. Is a paragraph just a topic that doesn't claim and evidence? No. No, right? You need to have multiple claims. Sometimes you can have more than one claim, you can have more than two claims. If you want, you can have four claims. It all depends on how you personally write your paragraph. But these two claims are nothing without the evidence. Let's remember that evidence is really important to our paragraph so that, especially in something like this where you're trying to persuade someone of what your point is, right? So it goes T C E C E C. Right. Right. Yes. Good. Um, does anyone have any questions on these? What does your conclusion do? Okay? So your conclusion closes. But what else does it do, Jerlene? It restates your topic. Closes and restates. So you don't want the reader to, to leave your paragraph without remembering what it was about, right? So what you do here is you basically sum up everything that your par paragraph said in one sentence. So it's like the last bun. You don't have a hamburger with only one bun, right? This is. You can think of it about it as a hamburger. This is the bread, which kind of like shows you like what the food is. Your claim can be a meat. <laughs> what can cheese. evidence be? Cheese, lettuce, lettuce or cheese? Cheese. cheese. Ketchup. <laughs> I don't claim. Lettuce. Okay. Lettuce. <laughs> evidence. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. <laughs> and last one? You should use a cheese thing. A bread. Bottom one. Bottom one. Bottom one. Bottom one. Bottom one. Good. Then we'll like the face. <laughs> so, <laughs> if I say T C E C E C, right. 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 Yeah. So, anybody have any questions on what these stand for? What would, what's one of your topic sentences that you guys are going to use? Has anyone come up with one? Let's say we were going to write about Philadelphia and how great it is. Philadelphia is great. Philadelphia is great in a vast amount of ways. Okay. What did that do well? It stated your topic, Philadelphia, and it also said what you're going to talk about. You said why. Can you repeat what you said? 
Philadelphia is, wait, what? Philadelphia is what? Philadelphia is a great place to live in a vast amount of ways. In a vast amount of ways kind of sets up what's going to come next, right? Mm -hmm. Your claim would be, your claims would be the different ways, the different reasons why it's the best, and your evidence. So you're going to say, there's a vast, there's a wide amount of people, there's a lot of people who live in Philadelphia. Your evidence? There's South Philly, there's West Philly, there's North Philly that all are made up of different people. What's a different claim that's Cameron? Cheese steak. Cheese steak. Philadelphia is also great because we have cheese steak. What would your evidence be for that? Gino's. Gino's is one of the best known cheese steaks. What is Gino's? The greatest. The greatest cheese steak. Right. With that, you could also flip it though and say, ladies and gentlemen, I just hear please. You can say, Philadelphia is also wonderful because it has a wide variety of food. One of the foods that is very, is the staple of Philadelphia is a cheesesteak. And then from there, you would go on to explain why. And then you would talk about genomes. All right, so we're going to do this, but you guys are going to do it about our reading. T C E C E C Rhyming can be easy. Give me a T T Topic sentence look some C E claim and evidence C E claim and evidence C conclusion cut cut conclusion.